Uh, my name is Lee Chi Cheng. I'm 50 plus, and I'm now full time the uh, wood cover. And I take it as a retire hobbies. It is also my retire hobbies. Mm. So how, how long have you been carving? Uh, I since uh, ten years ago, more than ten years ago, and this is my uncle business. That is my father's brothers. How many step you mean? Yeah. Yeah, for the beginnings, uh, selections of the wood. Selection of the wood, they are soft wood, indoor wood, and outdoor wood. Uh, depends on the requirements. And uh, secondly, after choosing the signboard, the wood, then we need the calligraphy. Of course, I have English uh, customers, whereby you need uh, English. And majority, I think 95% of my customers is Chinese. Uh, of course, the wood must be totally dry. If the wood is not totally dry, because the one piece of the board is around one inch thick. One inch thick. If not totally dry, it will, after using for some time, the wood will bend, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After selecting, you need to Choose the word that the customer require. Of course, uh, some is calligraphy, some is computer writing. It depends on the requirement. Uh, after that, uh, do the coating of the wood. When you do the coating of the wood uh, to make the wood stronger, it is something like anti rice, anti rust, or anti anti insect bite, something like that so that to let the wood last longer. Normally, we are using gelatin wood. This, this is a soft wood, but at least can last for 80 years to 100 years. And they are, uh, the other type of wood is the Chengai emas, whereby it is very uh, hard wood, and it can last for a few hundred years. So after selecting the wood, uh, putting on the coating, then only start the calligraphy. And do you design it yourself first or do you do it all on the computer? How do you do that part? Oh, yeah, yeah, it depends on, this is all depends on the customers. Some uh, customers, they bring together with their design, bring together with whatever they want. But some customers, of course, majority of the customers depend on us. Okay, I leave it to you. You do your best. I trust your professional. After printing out, so of course you must uh, repeat to see whether it is a mistake, whether the arrangement, whether the uh, should the uh, should the the whole the overall looking. So you need to adjust uh, either enlarging it or reduce the size of it. Of course you need to see in the distant uh, view, and also, uh, yeah. And sometimes also depends on the customer. If the customer is very superstitious, then we have to uh, advise them to use the feng shui ruler, whereby we need to change maybe a few inches in order to suit the customer's uh, superstitious. This is uh, the belief that they thought uh, using the right uh, measurement to bring the business uh, or the home harmony, and they believe on that. Uh, there, are, there are many types of tools, you see. Uh, traditional ones, you are using the, 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 the scissor, the knife. But nowadays, uh, modern days, we use a machine. Also. We call router. Use a machine. It makes the things uh, faster. But even with this machine, you can't 100% uh, replace the, uh, our, our work. Of course, even uh, you use the traditional one also, we can start with the knife itself. We don't use machine, totally 100% using the knife, using the scissor. There are many customers, they require, especially the English writing, you require flat bottom. In, in Chinese word, if you use the flat bottom, the nature of the curve, you wouldn't look uh, uh, after finishing, you don't look as a uh, natural or what I mean is uh, the calligraphy artwork. You can't see. 
Of course, in English writing, it's totally different. So uh, it depends on the carving. Not necessarily we have to use a router. It depends on the, the carving. Of course, normally the about two to three inches uh, writing we use to use writer. It's smaller than that, maybe one inch or uh, less than two inch, or we use hand free, hand or use hand. You cannot use the router because the router knife they cannot have so fine the the, the needle. You cannot have so fine one. Oh, we use router, we use router. The, 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 the machine is called router. Of course, the, the, the needle of it, you can change either it is a round one or a square one. It, it depends on what you want, you see. Of course, uh, that, as I said earlier, you can't 100% replace the hand. After using the scissor also, in the finishing work also, you need to use the hand. And why we use this, why we use machine is because nowadays everything fast. Even there are many selling in the market the wood carving from China. They are all using machine nowadays. Even the 3D products all using machine. Yeah, after finishing the carving, you do the sanding. You do the sanding. Of course, the earlier on I have said I put on the coating. I put on the coating is uh, the whole board coating. But after carving, you need to put another layer or another two to three layers of coating on the place that you carve. If not, you, if you not apply the coating, when you spray on the paint, it will absorb because it is wood, you see, it's not a metal. It will always absorb. You mix the, the carving, not so good. So, uh, as I said, after carving, you need to apply another layer of coating. And uh, the coating, it depends on the type of wood. If it is soft wood and easy to absorb one, you need to apply two layers of it. So, after making, uh, after waiting for the coating to dry up, then only you do the sanding before painting. Normally, our signboard is they use a... Uh, Mainly is a red color and black color. It is I'm using these two color is because we need to apply the gold leaf. Gold leaf can only match these two colors. If you put a yellow or a, a, a green, the gold will you will look sharp. You see, so either we use red or we use black in colors. Uh, normally we 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 we. Uh, count by our, our working days. You see, this piece of wood comes, we see the wood is around, say, maybe one week work. So I will calculate on basic on my days of work. One day I'll charge it for my workmanship is 150. Yeah, Goliath is uh, mainly from China. Of course, there are some from uh, Taiwan, that is an uh, artificial one. Of course, uh, for those you are not uh, experienced people, you, you can't differentiate it. But only you can see the difference is after a few years or maybe after a few months, then the artificial ones, the color will change. The gold one will remain 100 years, 200 years, is, it is still because it is a real gold itself. It is 916 gold. It is uh, so advanced that nowadays the technology, they make it into so tiny, so thin. Previously, we are applying this gold leaf, we are using hammer to hammer it, make it uh, stick into the, the, the wood. Nowadays, they can use a very tiny and we put a layer of glue. Um, it takes about, maybe like this weather, hot weather, it takes me about one hour for the glue to dry up, then only apply the gold leaf. Uh, normally, my customers, I, I can say 90% is they are making signboard. 90% is signboard. Of course, there are many like 3D carving, uh, many uh, art carving. They, they, we have this type of demand. But 90% is more on the uh, signboard, more on the surname of the family, and also the congratulation, work, uh, congratulation board. Like people open ceremony, with people getting title of Dato, so they give this as a present to the customers. 
Oh, yeah, because uh, the requirement of the fabric is uh, always changed, you see. Previously, uh, of course, many years, uh, many, many hundred years ago, they are only using paper, they are even using newspaper. Nowadays, there are so many advances from the Facebook, from the internet. There are many new things coming in. When your customer require new things, if you are not following it up, you are out of date. So even you are a traditional wood cover, you need to change your your own set also in order to cope with the modern day. Of course, modern day means everything need fast. Everything need fast. The artwork itself is the Se'e Sen Xiao. We say Se'e Sen Xiao. That is uh, the year that you born in the horse. Uh, you are the horse, you say, in, in Chinese. But the the art itself is not very modern. It, long, it doesn't uh, look like the old Se'e Sen Xiao that we have, the horse. We are not uh, drawing that out of it. So it is a mixture, mixture of uh, olden day and the new art. So it comes out to be very good response, you see. I, ha I have many customers uh, start order from me, but uh, I need to get the approval of the earners. Of course, uh, he said we will be coming out a uh, new project coming soon. Oh, of course, everything is uh, depends on the demand itself, you see. Uh, to me, of course, I like the traditional one, but that you can't make money, you see. A traditional, you, if you are using the traditional signboard, maybe it takes uh, 10 days to do the whole board and you can't charge very high. Even if you, you explain to the customers that this is 100% hand, 100% traditional, uh, they still doubt about the price, you see. So uh, I rather explain to them nowadays we will change. You need this type of uh, art and of course the, the price itself, if you are acceptable, I'm using this modern and olden mixture. Uh, there are many customers or many of my friends, even the professional like doctors and lawyers, uh, ask me, how old is your son? I say my son is still schooling. Uh, is your son uh, still interested on this? I say no, they, uh, they say they're very dirty. I say no, you, my friends tell me uh, you have to encourage them, you see. I say, is there any any, any future in wood carving? Uh, to me, I, I feel there's a bright future, but to a person, they do not understand carving. They may thought that, oh, this is olden day. They are still customer looking for this type of uh, art. You see, there are many, many customers looking for this art. Even I have uh, many customers who say, you make a signboard, I do not want you to use spray. Even using spray also, they are not allowing to use the spray. Because formerly, formerly we use, we don't have spray, we use paint, you see. 100% use hand to paint the, the whole board itself. So even the finishing is not so good, but customer, they, they tend to accept that. They are still customer like that. Yeah, this is still a very bright future. It is very, very bright future. And of course, uh, times are uh, changing. Uh, you need to balance up with the olden day and the new day, uh, meet with the olden day and the new demand, you see. So if you are insist on yourself, um, the customers, are, of course, I say majority of the customer, they can't accept it. You still have that type of customer that thereby insist the traditional one. But of course, with that type of customer, the very small group of the customer, you can't survive. New school or old school? <laughs> I will uh, make me look rugged. And uh, of course, I also using the, the, the old Tassu one, uh, wearing like, uh, it looks like a uh, wood cover also. Uh, I, I am a mixture of uh, olden day and the modern day, I mixture. Of course, in Penang, they are still have a really traditional old man carving, but still, still they are remain. Uh, majority, I mean, a, a few of them, majority of them are over 70 years old. And I, I can say, uh, if open up business one like me, 
In Penang, I, I feel that I'm the youngest. I feel that I'm the youngest. Of course, uh, during my time uh, training, uh, there are also many uh, people who like to learn, but really come up with business, uh, I, I don't see any. Even a, a few friends of mine, they know carving, they, they are not interested on it. Of course, uh, this, you need to have backup, you see. If you take this as 100% solely on your, as a career for beginners, I don't think they can survive. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm arrogant, but I'm quite economy, sell itself, I'm quite sound, you see. I have my own business, uh, my wife taking care. Uh, this is uh, some sort of like uh, uh, my hobbies, and of course I make a good living also with this. 